Hey there, this is Colin from Barn2 Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to password protect WordPress in a few different ways. By the end, you'll know how to password protect individual WordPress poster pages or entire categories of WordPress posts. Then, I'll also show you some ways to password protect a WordPress e-commerce store powered by WooCommerce. Specifically, I'll show you how to password protect your entire WooCommerce store or just specific categories of WooCommerce products. To password protect an individual WordPress post or page, you don't need any external solutions. Instead, WordPress has a built-in password protection feature. To get started, open the WordPress editor for the piece of content you want to add a password to. Then, look for the visibility option in the right sidebar. Click on it, then select password protected from the dropdown. From there, you can enter the password that you want to use. Once you've entered your password, make sure to update the poster page. Now, when someone tries to view this piece of content, they'll be prompted to enter the password. Once they enter the password, they'll be able to view the full post. Additionally, WordPress will also prepend the word protected in front of the title, which you can see here. If you want to protect multiple pieces of content at once, you can use the Password Protected Categories plugin to restrict access to entire categories of content. If a visitor tries to view any post in the Password Protected category, they'll be prompted to enter a password. Then, once they enter the password, the plugin will automatically unlock all of the content in that category. That's the important part. Your visitors won't need to enter the password for each individual post. To get started, you'll want to install and activate the Password Protected Categories plugin. If you don't already have access to this plugin, you can find a link in the video description. Once you've activated the plugin, go to open the Settings menu in your WordPress dashboard and select the Protected Categories option. This lets you set up some defaults for how the password functionality works. You can choose how long a category will remain unlocked before a visitor needs to enter the password again, and you can also choose whether or not to show the password protected categories in your menus and widgets and stuff. You can also customize the password entry form that people will use. Once you've made your choices here and saved your changes, you're ready to add passwords to individual categories. To do this, open the posts menu in your WordPress dashboard and select the categories option. Then click edit underneath the category that you want to add a password to. At the bottom of the settings, you'll see a new visibility area. Choose the password protected option and enter your desired password. You can also add multiple passwords, each of which will unlock the category. This helps if you want to give different users unique passwords just to keep track of things. Then once you update your category, visitors will need to enter a password to view any content inside that category. Now, let's get into a more specific use and learn how to password protect a WordPress e-commerce store powered by WooCommerce. For this first application, you can use the WooCommerce Private Store plugin to password protect your entire WooCommerce store. Again, you can find a link to the plugin in the description. In addition to hiding all your products behind password protection, the plugin will also hide other parts of your store, like menu items and widgets. Once a visitor enters the password one time, the plugin will unlock access to the entire store. To get started, you'll want to install and activate the plugin. Then, to access its settings, go to the regular WooCommerce area in your WordPress dashboard. Then select Settings. From there, click on the new Private Store tab. Here, you can configure how the password protection works. First, you can choose the actual passwords to unlock your store. The nice thing about this plugin is that you can enter multiple passwords. This is helpful if you want to give different people different passwords, and you can even revoke access if needed by deleting one of the passwords in the future. Beyond that, you can also choose how many days the store will be unlocked after a visitor enters the password. Once this time limit expires, uh, visitors will need to re-enter the password to continue browsing. If you want, you can use the redirect URL option to automatically send people to a specific page after they enter the password. And you also have the option of automatically unlocking your store if someone is logged in. 
That is, logged in users will not have to enter a password if you check the logged in user setting. Finally, you can configure the actual login form that people will use to unlock your store. Once you save your changes, your password protection will be active and anyone who tries to visit will need to enter a password before they can see your store. If you only want to password protect certain parts of your store, you might prefer the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin. This plugin lets you restrict access to one or more categories of products while keeping your overall store public. Beyond that, you'll also be able to control whether your password protected products will still show up in your store navigation menus or be completely hidden. Either way, once someone enters the password one time, they'll unlock access to all the products in the password protected category. To get started, make sure to install and activate the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin. You can find a link in the description if you don't already have access. Then, to access the plugin settings, go to the regular WooCommerce area in your WordPress dashboard and select Settings. Then, click on the Products tab and then click one more time to select the protected categories area. Here, you can configure some basics for how the password protection works. You'll be able to choose whether or not to still show password protected products in different parts of your store. Then, further down the page, you can choose how long the password will unlock the protected category, and you can also customize the login form itself. Once you've made your choices here, make sure to save your changes. Then, to actually add a password to a category, open the regular products area in your WordPress dashboard and select the categories option. Then, edit the category that you want to make password protected. In the edit category screen, scroll down to the new visibility options, then select the option for password protected and enter the password that you want to use. Like the other plugins, you can enter multiple different passwords, each of which will unlock the same category. Again, this is helpful if you want to give unique passwords to different visitors. Once you save your changes, that category of products will be locked behind a password. And that wraps up our tutorial. You now have four different ways to password protect WordPress depending on your needs. We hope you enjoyed the video and please leave a comment if you have any questions.